Hello students, I am Rajeshri ma'am and this is the last uh, third part of the session the explanation of the drama Making Friends by Louisa May Alcott and I'll, uh, there will be another video the last part because I am explaining it very thoroughly and please listen to me very carefully uh, so that you can get your English improved and this is the fourth scene and the curtain rise to a library. This is a library scene. Uh, is a, in the Lawrence house. The room is lined with books and there are pictures and statues and distracting little cabinet full of coins and curiosities. There are obviously lines of books and also there are statues and pictures but the cabinet there are cabinets full of coins and curiosities curiosities means the collection of uh, odd and interesting things and distracting the it is distracting these cabinets are distracting because they are taking away attention from the books because it is unusual in a library on the wall there is a portrait of a handsome stone faced old elderly man a maid uh, walks in there is a portrait, portrait you know, the picture of a person, an elderly man, and maid walks in. Uh, maid says, the doctor to see you, sir. Uh, she says to Laurie. And Laurie walks away and Joe is left standing with before the portrait of the gentleman, old gentleman. And you will see that Joe has not noticed that uh, Laurie has gone away from there and she is standing alone. And the doors, or door opens and someone walks in. By the time someone has come to the room, it is the old gentleman in the painting. He is dressed in an elegant suit. Elegant means uh, dignified. Good looking and dignified, which evokes respect or honors, honor. And seems uh, surprised to see a young girl in the room. But before he can stay, uh, say anything, Joe begins Speaking without turning. She doesn't turn so she, is, she couldn't know that there is another person uh, than Joe. And then uh, Laurie there. And Joe says, I am sure now that I shouldn't be afraid of him. Um, for he has got kind eyes though uh, his mouth is green. Green means the, where there is no smile. Smile in the face. And he and she says about grandfather, Laurie's grandfather, uh, that he is a kind-hearted man. That uh, that seems from his eyes, uh, though he has a he is very serious faced, and doesn't have any smile on his face. And he looks as if he has tremendous will. Tremendous means very much. He isn't as handsome as my grandfather, but I like him. She says uh, her, uh, she expressed her views about grandfather unknowingly and grandfather in a gruff voice. In a gruff means coarse voice, very uh, low and serious voice. Thank you, ma'am. Jo gives a squeal of dismay. She get, get amazed uh, in surprise and so she says, oh, cry, cry of alarm. And her the hand clapped uh, and whirls around. That means turns around quickly. And her hand clapped, uh, clapped as her mouth as she stares at old Mr. Lawrence. And she get, uh, she felt uneasy because uh, she has expressed her view uh, unknowingly before, before the grandfather, uh, Mr. Lawrence. And these are, there are the question and answers. First, there is tick the correct options. Meg was written, which, which novel Meg was, read, Meg was reading? And that is Ivanhoe. Meg thought that it was dash of Joe to go out. It was odd, odd to go out because it was very cold morning. And Laurie was not allowed to go out for a week because he had been sick. Had been naughty. These are the um, options given. Laurie was not allowed to go out for a week because he had been sick. Obviously, he had been sick. 
एंड फोर टू मेक लॉरी फील हैप्पी जो ऑफर टू टेक हिम होम ब्रिंग हिम फूड रीड टू हिम प्ले विथ हिम ऑब्वियसली रीड टू हिम शी वॉन्टेड टू रीड टू रीड सम स्टोरीज और समथिंग टू हिम एंड देर आर द रेफरेंस टू कॉन्टेक्ट नंबर वन शी कैन नेवर सीट स्टील फॉर इवन अ मोमेंट बट शी विल बैक सून कंप्लेनिंग ऑफ द कोल्ड एंड टेलिंग मी हाउ हर फीट एंड इयर्स एंड फिंगर्स आर फ्रोजन एंड रेडी टू ड्रॉप ऑफ हु सेट दिस एंड अबाउट होम इट्स इन दट इन द फर्स्ट सीन इट मेक्स एड अबाउट जो वाई डिड द स्पीकर से दिस बिकॉज इट वॉज कोल्ड मॉर्निंग एंड जो जो माइट कैच कोल्ड एंड फील पेन इन हर बॉडी एंड दैट इज वाई she says this and what did she really say when she came back but jo uh, said that um, she had cleared the garden path and uh, swept uh, cleared the snow from the garden path and swept it she had a nice exercise number 2 we we will never draw that cartoon anymore and i give you leave to look as much as you like i just wish though instead of peeping you would come over and see on who said this and to whom jo said this to lorry the uh, number b the speaker gave permission to look at which thing the speaker gave permission to look at their house uh, through the window look at their home through the window or to watch their family how did the person referred to as you describe when he saw behind the window the person you you miss lorry uh, what did he say lorry about the family uh, about the uh, march sisters this actually these four sisters are called march sisters jo said to lorry uh, that pers- uh, person referred to you as lorry and he used to watch the march sisters and their mother the, through the sitting uh, through, through the window that they are sitting around the table near the fire and the sight was very beautiful the mother the face of mother be, behind the flowers was very pretty then answer the questions number 1 how did jo decide to decide to do on a cold day D- jo decided to do some exercise in a cold day or to clear the garden path and what did jo suggest lorry should do to keep himself amused jo suggested lorry to read some books or get some books read by someone to him how uh, what items did jo bring for lorry and from whom jo bought brought uh, blamans from meg and uh, three kittens from from beth and a lot of love from mother how did lorry know the names of the march sisters because lorry used to see hear the sound of their calling one another through the wind uh, through the windows through the window and that is why she, he knew Uh, th- their names calling them one another and could see also see the them through windows of their house sitting around the table near the fire and in that way he knew the names of all the march sisters and about their uh, family he knew everything so this is and in the next part i will give you the other question answers and mini word meaning synonym and antonyms so that you can improve your vocabulary and uh, please stay with me till students and uh, thank you for watching this video and subs- please subscribe this channel so that i can bring many videos for you afterwards